love our opening music. It's pretty good. Yeah. It is pretty good. It is pretty good. All right, so welcome to American Whiskey Experience. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Pete on my side, James right here. We got some more whiskey, we like do. always. We I think do. I always say that. We have more whiskey. Hey, more whiskey. At least more we're not running out of whiskey. That's no, I know. That's a good thing. thing. Could be more so we're going to do some uh, Old Elk. This is a store pick. Why don't you tell us about yeah, it? So and I'll uh, crack it This is an Old Elk straight weeded bourbon, and it is a pick, uh, barrel pick from Wines & More in Milford, Connecticut. Okay. One I've had for a little while. Um, it was probably back in, I want to say, maybe... September, past, October? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Late summer. Uh, I, I think pour, so. I poured some of it, enjoyed it. Cool. Kind of hit it on the back shelf, so I uh, didn't finish it all because uh, I definitely did. I'm like glad, it. glad you didn't finish it. Yeah. So Old Elk Distillery, they're out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Yep. Um, liquid is, un is undisclosed liquid, but we believe it's MGP. Yeah. Uh, Master Distiller has a relationship with MGP. Okay. So it, it definitely is so a correlation there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Again, uh, barrel pick. So it was a, a one-time deal. There was 170 bottles, I believe. Uh, MSRP on this one was about 75 bucks. Mm. It is 119.5 proof and about four years. Yeah. On this one, mash bill is 51 corn, 45 wheat, and 4% malted barley. Okay. Um, so it is, uh, like I said, weed bourbon. And not my typical go to. I usually prefer a little high rye bourbon. Yeah. But I do like wheat every once in a while. Yeah. We, so, we uh, don't drink a lot of weed no, bourbons. No, but I, honestly, I, I, uh, I, had, I think I sampled this at the store mm -hmm. and I was like, I really like that. So yeah. I grabbed one. I um, actually wish I got a second one. Yeah, I missed out on it. I don't think I uh, either when yeah. when I went back, they were all gone, or I said, you know what, I'll, yeah. I'll come back, and then I just never did. And he had 170 bottles, so it wasn't long. Yeah, so I don't think it lasted long. Yeah. I, I do remember taking a sample of it, but it was a while ago. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're at 119.5 proof, so yeah. 59.75 alcohol by volume. Yeah. I'll tell you, the, 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 uh, the bottles The bottles are awesome. I mean, they're heavy. They're heavy. They're, they're real heavy. Solid and, and the top, you know, the, you know, the, the the elk looking, you know, yeah, the base of the antler, antler there is pretty cool there, and um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to to, to uh, try this again. It's yeah. and you you usually weeded ones like you said. We don't usually drink a lot of weed just because uh, I, I like the rye spice really that, good and some are. I like the spice that rye brings to brings to yeah. the bourbon. Um, so I typically yeah. lean that way, but there mm -hmm. are some very good weeded bourbons. They are, they are, yeah. Um, well, I mean, you know, I'm gonna give it a little spin and then look at the color at the same time. But uh, that's a great. Dark color today. Yeah. Dark amber. Yeah, I think dark it's. Real, I mean, I don't know. I... Yeah, about that. Yeah, I think it's a dark, dark. Yeah, it's, I mean, for, nice. for for four Mahogany? years, it's uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's got solid some darkness to it. Yeah, um, and this is a five year, you said, right? Four year, four year, four year. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I get sweetness on the nose for sure. Yeah. Uh, Almost like cranberry sweet. I'm getting a little bit more and candied. Are you candy cranberries and candy 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 candy? candy. candy. I'm getting a, a little bit more like um, sweet, but more orchard orchard fruit sweet. Okay. Like I, you, the, know, uh, you know, orchard fruit. So you like more... uh, like a sweeter apple. Okay. But not like pear or anything like that. You get more apple. No, more apple-y. More like citrus type fruits, maybe. Apple, little oranges, little, yeah. Tangerines. Apple, little caramel. I mean, I'm getting that that kind of sweetness in there. Yeah, I get a lot of sweetness out. I actually you know, love the nose you, know, of you do get that sweet corn, you know. Like when you get like fresh corn, and it's like that you know that uh, you know. Yeah, and obviously a weeded one that usually has that. It does bring out some sweetness. A different type of sweetness. Yeah, I mean, and, even and like even a little bit of graininess to it, mm -hmm. a little bit of cereal grain. Uh, you know, like uh, almost like Honey Nut Cheerios. Yes, yeah, I'm getting a lot of that candied, candied fruit. Almost like a. Again, it's like that. Almost like a cranberry or like a. So you get a little bit of tartness to it. Yeah, a little bit, but even that sweetness of a, of a cranberry when it's like. A, Candied, okay. Uh, kind of like a, almost like a, a very faint blueberry type too. You're I'm getting a lot. Yeah, I'm very. I'm okay. getting a lot of small little berries. Those. Interesting. Uh, I mean, I, I let's let's go for it. I gotta taste it. Yeah. Cheers, cheers everybody. Hmm. Hmm. This 
is interesting. It's totally different than on the palate. You know, for me, I, I, I still get, like I, I think I mentioned, like, honey nut Cheerios. I still get, I get oh, a little oh, of that yeah. honey, yeah. honey grain. I, I see that now. Um, when you said honey nut Cheerios, yeah. that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. You get that that uh, grainy, that oatness, and that little bit of sweetness. Of, of I, I, get a little, I get a little, a little buttery corn, too. Ooh. A little... Um, like I a, think you picked it up big on that oat. The honey nut, the yeah. honey nut oat. That's exactly what it tastes like to me. And I'm a fan of uh, honey Cheerios. Hmm. I really am. I got boxes in the fridge. Um, the I definitely get a little bit of that, that, like that, that buttered corn, that fresh buttered corn. Um, as well, but, but it's not sweet. Like you know how some of that corn is sweet. Like, yeah, it's not that though. You're no, just getting the, more the, the creaminess. Like, yeah, you know, um, mm. really good. Um, you know, a little bit of brown sugar. Um, you know, and on the back of the palate is a little bit more of that oak presence where I'm getting a little bit more of that the heat, um, where it warms up as it as uh, the more I kind of like. You know, more goes down, a little bit warmer. Yeah, I mean, the, the finish is, is nice. Yeah. Um, Me medium, it, solid. Medium, medium yeah. yeah, it sticks medium, around yeah, a little medium, bit at the end. Medium long, yeah. Mm. But now I'm getting that corn. Yeah, I think the more you kind of let it, yeah. you know, coat inside your mouth, yeah, you're I, kind of getting a little bit. It's, it's somewhere between that, cre I can see what you're saying, cream corn. Or, or it's almost like that fresh corn that you know it's boiled corn and with, with butter on it yeah you into it and it, there's a little bit know, there yep that but i mean um, that again that honey nut cheerio still is you know mm -hmm. over the top of my mouth that, yeah that, the, the corn is more at the end of the, of the palate for me than the, the beginning of the is palate. it yeah mid palate you know kind of i'm like still getting that odiness of the uh the grain the grain there yeah and no just it's that uh, cheerio type I'll tell you, I think it's it's really good. It, I remember it being very good when I first opened it. I was gonna it. say, has it changed since you opened it? I mean, you know, you no, no. Like, I think I, 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 mean, I didn't take notes when I ate it, which I usually do when I yeah. first open them. Um, and I and I do remember that creamy sweetness to it. Um, I definitely remember a little corn forward, a little bit of grain, mm -hmm. uh, a little touch of honey, um, even a little bit of brown sugar. Yeah. And we've uh, had you know old up before some yes. other brands. Yep. Uh, we had the bourbon, the straight bourbon, the straight bourbon. I had the blended, the I had blended. blended as well. Totally different. Yeah, no, I mean all match bells obviously different. We're, we're yeah, all we did, but uh, this is a pretty pretty cool pick. I yeah. wonder what the regular uh, we did, you know, non you know store pick by this group uh, okay. and and team over at uh, Wine Some More. I don't remember. I think I did actually have the, the, the regular. The I, I, I thought we I, I, we sampled it or some, someone had it that we know that we, we had it or, I, I, or someone I remember having it. it uh, yeah. But I remember, when I, honestly, when I when I first cracked this and had a few pours out of it, I know I, I kind of hit it on the back shelf and didn't mm -hmm. touch it <laughs> to last a while. Um, but I, I love it. I mean, I think it's really good. There's... Hmm. Yeah, and seventy five bucks for a store pick. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I'm not. I I wouldn't bat an eye at that at all. I'm disappointed that I didn't buy it. Uh, yeah. Uh, or or forgot to pick forgot it up. Forgot to probably. Um, seventy five dollars. Yeah, it's 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 you know. It's a buy. Sixty five, seventy five dollar wheelhorse is, is you know in the wheelhouse. I guess. Yeah. Wheelhouse. Wheel, yeah. Wheelhouse. wheelhouse. Uh, it is range. 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 Yeah. Trying to use different words and range stuff. Range. Wyoming. To what, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Makes right. sense. We're all trying to put this together. Right. There you go. Um, I, I would buy it again if, if it was available. Yeah. I, I might just go out and try to find the regular we did. And, and, yeah, um, that, I wouldn't mind comparing to. And comparing to. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, again, I think for me, the uh, the nose is is the best part of this. Um, uh, the, you know, the, the palate is good. Um. I think it's. Uh, I think the palate's it's got some for for weeded uh, bourbon. It's it's got some of those characters that we've seen before, but it's actually they last a little longer and it tastes a little better. You know, what I mean? does I, that make sense to you? Yeah, like you've had all the weeds before. We're like, okay, we're getting some of the same stuff, but it, it goes away quick. Sometimes I think this sticks around. For me, sometimes I think weeded bourbon is is a little bit on the bland side. Yeah. Okay. Like that, I mean, that, bland is probably not the right word, but like not Doesn't as have that spice, not as intense as spice as, as, yeah. as, as, as a vanilla. But to me, caramel. this has some very intense flavors. It I does. think I think it um, it, it lingers. I, I I couldn't pick nose palate finish one or the other. I think it, it transitions very nicely. So you think it's really balanced? From I think it's balanced. I think it's got a great nose to it. I, mm -hmm. You know, 
like I said, I, I pick up a good amount of, uh, of aroma coming out of the nose, and, and I think it's delicious, obviously, to drink. Um, so it's tough for me to pick one aspect that's better than the next. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great pick overall. And, you know, I mean, what did I say? This is 119 proof, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't drink at all like 119 proof. And I don't know if that's because it's weeded. It might be because it's taking out that spices and stuff like that, no, maybe. I, I, it does not drink like 119 proof. No. If you didn't tell me what, what proof it was, I would guess it was over 100. I would say about 105 tops. Maybe 109, uh, you know, somewhere around that range. But I, I again, yeah, it doesn't drink like that, which I like. Yeah, um, so I can. It's very good. So again, I think for me, it's 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 a win. Yeah, yeah. I, I would pick it up. I would, you know, or find it again if and possible. I, and I would not be surprised if he doesn't go to all pick. All the pick. You know, yeah, hopefully they'll do around. another pick. Maybe maybe they'll do the bourbon pick, straight bourbon. Uh, maybe they'll do another weeded pick, or maybe the weeded pick was good. I, I said, I, I you know, I like I said. We tend to buy a lot of their picks from, from Wines and More and Milford. Yeah. Um, I like when he picks out. Um, so it's always mm -hmm. interesting to me. And to, for me to go out and kind of pick up a, a weeded uh, is a little bit out of my my, my kind of like my yeah. flavor profile I like. But uh, I'm glad I did it. Uh, yeah, I still, I, for me though, it's it's the nose that wins me. Mm -hmm. That would make me pour it again. Mm -hmm. uh, the palate is very good. Um, it's blended nice. The finish, um, it's, it's just... Average. Yeah, it just goes away, which is fine. You don't get that. I don't get that real warm feeling. Uh, and again, it might be because it's weeded. And it's not not that the finish is bad. I just it, I think it, it goes one, two, three for me. Okay. I see. Give me the finish. Is it short? Mm -hmm. um, it lingers. I still have a lot of that uh, mouth mouth coverage. That I have flavor in there. Yeah. I still taste a little bit of spice, a little bit of oak on the end. Yeah, see, I'm not, not, not a, a big burn. I mean, for mm -hmm. one, one nineteen, one twenty. No, but, I um, expected more. I understand I, I, on the uh, finish. Very, I thought it was going to be more of a, yeah. a heat or a burn on but, that. But but very satisfied. But I, I am satisfied as well. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I think I think we both agree that it's it's a good it's bottle. Great, great we bottle. have some different, you know, um, thoughts at the on the finish and, and the palate there. Yeah. But uh, overall, I think we're both excellent. Yeah, we're saying it's yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a positive pick. It's excellent. Um, oh. So hey. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Like, Instagram, Facebook. YouTube, subscribe. Fun stuff. So on YouTube, there's that little red thing that says subscribe, right? Oh, yeah. That's what we need That's people right. to do. Hit that button, subscribe, type subscribe. in your username, password, create a username, password, whatever. Tell your um, friends. Tell you, Yeah, tell your friends, tell friends. Your friends. <laughs> tell your friends, friends. Tell your friends, friends, friends. <laughs> and, and so we got a little quote for you. Uh, a oh, quote? Cool. Yeah, another quote. Why not? Word, yeah, words we, of the we wise. Little words of the wise of the internet. To oh. some, it's simply a glass of whiskey. To me and to you, it's a taste of heaven. Ooh. I Cheers, like everyone. I like that. That's there you good. Go. That's pretty good. Cheers, man.